This parasha, parasha Chayisara, uh, this parasha talks about the death of Sarah, but the name of the parasha is life of Sarah. Because Sadikim, they never die. And they will reshow him, Bechayehem, Rabbi Wicked people, while they are alive, they are dead. Because even while they are alive, there's no consequence, there's no, there's no everlasting by them. But, but Sadikim, even if their death is called life, because the impact that they have is forever, they never die. Now it's interesting, Rashi asks, how come Torah puts the death of Sarah, puts that Sarah right after Akedah? But she says, because Torah put the Torah like that, so the fish are the idea of the Torah because once he was, he, she was given the Bistura, the news of Akedah, she was given the news of Akedah, that their son was prepared for Shekhtar, but it actually Shekhtar. Keep at, it was almost said that, but it wasn't she part of the she died. Therefore, we connect the parasha of Mitat Sarah to Areda to say that, you know, through the Areda, you hear in the Areda, she died. Now it's interesting that you know that Areda is the tenth trial of Abraham Avinu, it's the hardest one. Imagine somebody passes the hardest test by Rabbi Shabbat. What happens to you? Imagine you did a great mitzvah in Shul. You did a great act at home. You were great. Everybody, everybody is proud of you. Everybody thinks so highly about you. That put a person in a stature that you get some expectation. Now, you feel that you deserve red carpet. You deserve to be behaved properly. You deserve recognition. You deserve people look at you differently. And you feel elevated from other people. You, you know, you, you, you feel rightfully I'm higher than some people. Rightfully. Now, then what happens? If somebody makes a comment, you blew your foot in peace. If somebody does something wrong, that your wife said something about your accomplishments, then we go, you don't have patience, you get angry. Yeah? It's very interesting. Now, Torah tells us that Abraham comes from Avedah and he finds out that his wife is not there. His wife is there. Now, the millions of people, millions of people are living and they have their wife. And the Hagodesh Baruch Hu tells him, the Hebrew Ram, Hagodesh Baruch Hu tells Abraham, Abraham, you are my love. I bless you. You are the one that I chose from, from all of human beings. And all of the world is because of you. Oh, they start to have expectation. Why all of these people, they have their wife? I don't have my wife. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if I'm so great, so things. See, it's interesting for me. We learn Chumash, we don't ask this question. Just move on. But in our personal life, when something comes to us, then we ask the question, how come, how come? Then we take Torah as a, as a story, you know, a storyteller. But when, if we make Torah real, understand the Torah, then when in our life we confront something like that, we understand it, we behave better, we understand the mechanism of the Shabbat Now, it's very interesting puzzle. The puzzle says, At the end of that, the Shabbat says, Abraham, you are the one, you did something unbelievable, I will mock with your Sarah, and you're going to be the one. Hashraham goes back to his young men, servants, and they get up, they go together. They go together. What does that mean? Together. Now, before she say, what's the point of together? In other words, Abraham, after doing all the things that you did, in other words, Abraham, after doing this dissolution and elevating himself to such a high stature, when he went with the servant, he went to Yachtov. He didn't feel anything superior. He didn't feel that I'm better. It's not in my prestige to watch with you, not my level to speak at you, to be with you. Yachtov together. How could he do that? How is it possible? It's possible. When usually we do something, we give credit to ourselves. We feel this is our action. We did it. Therefore, we deserve the best. And if something goes wrong, we cannot handle it. We cannot understand it. But Abraham understood whatever that he did was chesed of Hashem. 
he was telling himself, like, which one who would have given this power, this potential to somebody else, he would have done a much better job. There's nothing special by me. I just think, just being a vessel in the hand of Abu Shbarhu. I'm a homer in your hand. You make me a vessel. This beautiful vessel came about through you. I didn't make it. Therefore, he doesn't get credit for himself. One thing is like that. There's a serenity. He accepts the Malchut of Hashem. He accepts the trees of Abu Shbarhu. We are giving too much credit for whatever that we do. And Hakudosh Baruch is telling us, we are wrong. We are wrong. We are wrong. Abraham tells us we are wrong. Yachta, do something. This is a privilege. Hashem gave you self with merit. It's a self with merit of Hakudosh Baruch It's not what I'm doing. It's not credit that I'm getting. It's not deserving the credit. It's not deserving. It's a very damn privilege. If we feel like that, then we could be the true Eret Hashem, true understanding of Hashem, submitting yourself to Hashem, accepting the gifts of accepting everything. And a lot of times, Hashem is showing to us that don't be so proud of yourself. Don't think that you're so high. Don't think that you're untouched. You're going to be touched so badly to realize that. And if we realize that, then we don't need to be touched so badly to realize that. Therefore, Sad Hashem also should help us understand Hashem better to be Karuf Chagodosh Baruchu and Tata to be like Abraham Avinu that you know to accept the Kisrut of Hashem the way that they are and to appreciate and to be grateful to know whatever that Hashem does is for our best.